welcome back, welcome back. Uh, in the kitchen, yeah. Water with me. I think you hurt me. Yeah. I think you hurt me. You hurt me. Guess what, man? We back in the lab again. That's right, we in the Husky lab today. And guess what we got on the menu? We got us some vegan crunch wraps. That's right, Taco Bell, you can't hold us down. We got some vegan crunch wraps. And it's simple, so this, this video, man, we just gonna focus on building out this crunch wrap. I actually got my vegan crumble here that we're gonna use as the basis our, uh, for our meat. If you, look, before I go any further in this video, you need to do just a little bit a little bit of tidying up for me, you know? You need to make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel as well as hit that notification bell so anytime I drop new videos, you get a taste of it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but anyway, we about to hop back into it, but you better make sure you like this video. Man, comment so we can get some engagement going. It is what it is. We in the Husky Lab with Chef Husky Hefe. That's right, <laughs> the lab. We're gonna use this vegan crumble as the base of this crunch wrap as our meat. Um, I would tell you what's in it, but you know what you should do? You should come in below Husky Fire. And if you say Husky Fire crumble, guess what? I'm gonna provide you a video making my vegan crumble. How about that? So comment Husky Fire crumble and we'll get this vegan crumble video made for you. Now I'm also making a cashew nacho cheese sauce. Look, all you gotta do is say Husky Fire Nacho. <laughs> and I'm gonna teach you how to make this cheese sauce. But if you don't, you know, you may not get it. You may get it still, but huh. anyway. So let me tell you some simple things that you need. I got my beans that's um, cooking up. You need tomatoes. You need um, onions, of course. I use the onion blend of green onion, yellow onion, and red onion. You need some lettuce. Uh, did I say tomato already? Yeah and you need some tortillas. Now my tortillas for my crunch wrap and some, I'm actually using some tortilla chips. I'll show you that in a second. But my tortillas, I did go to um, Chipotle. Shout out to Chipotle, y'all got some bomb tortillas. So I did have to go to Chipotle and get this certain kind. Um, you can get yours at the store. Use a big tortilla because you're gonna have to tuck things in. But I'm not gonna hold you here long. I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, vegan crumble sauteed and seasoned up, show you some of those season seasonings and we're gonna get this on the move let's go but nevertheless man we are about to get this crumble made as you can see right now it is in my copper shelf it's sizzling it looks just like ground beef so we're gonna go ahead and go in with some of these seasonings I always hit it with cinnamon i always want a little earthiness to it hit it with some garlic powder some ground coriander. And this is your basic like taco seasoning. Uh, you can do all this stuff at home. Stop complicating it. But if you wanna be lazy, I mean, I don't mind that. If you wanna be simple, I mean, whoa. If you wanna do it yourself or just buy it, be easy, then you can buy a taco seasoning, Taco Bell or something like that. Um, this is cumin. So get some of that cumin in there. Oh man, this crumble is gonna be amazing. The smell. <clears throat> and this is the mushroom onion powder by Husky Hefe himself. Yeah, y'all gonna have to get down on that. Look at, oh my God. Now the umami flavor that this mushroom is gonna provide, the onion powder is way sweeter than store-bought. It's crazy. And like I said, it smells wonderful. So I'm going in a little chili powder, not too much because you don't want it to taste like chili. And just to get it moving, I'm gonna add a little sprig of olive oil. And there we have it. You hear it sizzling on up. 
And like I said, if you want to learn about this crumble, comment below. Huskify crumble meat. I forgot what I said earlier, but I know what you're talking about if you say it. Man. And I love spice, so I was going to add cayenne, but I don't know if my wife would want that. Wife, would you want that? She says yes. Yes, chef. So the only other thing I'm going to add is a little cayenne and black pepper. And bada bing, bada boom. Capiche, capiche, you hear me? I love spice. So we can say this is a husky fried spice crunch wrap, you know? And when it comes to black pepper, I'm sorry, I like coarse black pepper. It just, it's something about it. <coughs> it's something about it. They got in my throat. <coughs> and just a hit of salt. None too. None too. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Woo. <coughs> Woo. Sorry. You know, spice is cooking up. Man, look at that crumble. How that camera looking? Y'all see this crumble? It looks like ground beef, like not mushy. Yes, this crunch wrap is about to go crazy. Cause I think you're crazy. No, my bad. I think you're husky. Yeah, I think you're husky. You husked me. It's done. It doesn't take long. I'm about to get these tortillas cut out and get it placed. And uh, that's going to be the video. Oh, that nacho cheese sauce. Let me show you real quick. Real quick. Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. Look at that. Wow, wow. Husky Lab, still making crunch wraps. Woo, in the kitchen, <laughs> water with me. <laughs> in the kitchen, <laughs> water with me. <laughs> in the kitchen, <laughs> water with me. <laughs> hey, hey, get it, hey, hey, hey. Get it, hefe. All right, all right, I gotta go. See you in a second. Can y'all see me? Good. Yeah. All right, so pretty much we got our molds, <coughs> excuse me, we got our molds cut off for our crunch wrap. So we're about to assemble this thing, get it all worked up. Uh, so, take up some tortillas, sit them to the side. And things are about to go hammer. And these tortillas is sea salt plant blade, blah, plant based uh, grain free tortilla chips. I got them from Sam's. It is amazing, yo. Like if you don't need all, if you don't want all the corn, this is just cassava, carrot, cauliflower, butternut squash, sunflower oil, chia seeds, and turmeric color for color and sea salt. Bang it. I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Cause I did make some beans. Like I said, mine's a husky fire. You hear me? Uh, we're gonna go down with our meat base first, right? Right? How do we do this crunch wrap? Um, so let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go meat. I'm gonna probably go. This is husky, you know? Um, wow, All right? So once that meat base is down, once that meat base is down, <laughs> once that meat base is down, we're gonna go with, I need, I got some cheese, hold on bro. I do have some vegan cheese, cheddar and mozzarella. Uh, yeah, bro. Just gonna put a little sprinkle. And my wife informed me you don't want nothing that's gonna get super 
wet and mushy down there. So I put just a little bit of beans, not a lot of liquid, just to help with that. Wham, cool. Oh, this is um, this is new to me. I'm not a big taco fan. I, uh, I didn't start eating tacos till I really got with her, let's be honest. Um, so we're gonna go with this, with our little, our little circle. And then I'm gonna remove this. <laughs> hey man, we in the lab, it's experimentation. Who said I was a pro with this? So, what, what should I go with, onions? So I guess you go with all the other ingredients and then you secure it. Hmm. Okay, so I put onions. So now I'm gonna put these, these tortilla chips, correct? We're gonna make a square. Uh, uh, yeah, circle. Wow. As best as possible. Some people use like the hard uh, tortillas. I ain't got time to go buy all that extra stuff. So now, so now I put my, uh, <laughs> guys, this is so confusing. Put some of my tomatoes on there. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm hmm. Some of my, this. So we put onions at the bottom. I'm sorry guys, I'm talking to my assistant in the background. This goes at the ingredients put that very top Okay, okay. So I'm going to go. I'm gonna go a little sprinkle of lettuce. Whew, boy. Didn't know it was gonna be this difficult. I want it to look good for you all. That's why. Uh, I can't forget the nacho cheese. I almost forgot the nacho cheese. Wow. Sorry, nobody's eating this but me and her, so. Oh, oh Lord. Oh Lord. <laughs> Get some of that nacho cheese in there, man. Remember, if you want to know how to make this uh, nacho cheese, comment below, you know? Uh, should that be good? Wow. Mm. 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 Wow. I'm gonna sprinkle just a hair more cheese just to secure that um, when it starts to melt, just to secure this small piece. So there we have it. Let's fold. And you're just picking up the sides and folding it inward. Wow. I tried to make these before, it did not do this good and there we have it so now we place this in a skillet and that's our that's our uh, gordita crunch I mean not gordita um, crunch wrap <laughs> so yeah let's do that get a taste I love y'all be back in a sec all right, y'all. So there we have it. This crunch wrap is made. It is, it's beautiful. Right here, I have some uh, simply Simple Truth plant-based dairy-free sour cream. So can't have a crunch wrap without sour cream, right? So I want to show y'all, was this side camera going? I want to show y'all this crunch wrap. Wow. Wow. Here's the first bite without sour cream. Let's see how it is. Mm. I don't mean to even be that person. You can't even tell it's not ground beef or, come on now, the depth of flavor that's in here let me get this some thick sour cream. I'm gonna get some on here. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Honestly, that's another successful experiment in a lab. 
Go and try to make your own, man. Have fun with it. Don't be afraid of it. All I need is some salsa. You know what? I think I got a salsa video coming up. Make sure y'all tune in on how to make the best Husky Fire salsa. Um, don't make you a vegan crunch wrap. Certified vegan from the Husky Lab, from Chef Husky Hefe. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming through. Make sure you subscribe and uh, click that notification bell. It's been real. I'm hungry. And I spent this time making this. Uh, see y'all when I see y'all. <laughs> hey, it's...